right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over another MCDU Advanced Tips and Tricks video. I get this one uh, pretty frequently, you guys ask about this one. So today we are talking about custom waypoint entry in the A320 MCDU. Now I'm doing this in the Flight Factor 320. I haven't done it, to be honest with you, in the 319 yet. I can't imagine it would be any different if it is modeled properly. It should work exactly the same as I'm about to show you here today. If it doesn't work in the 319, that just means that that FMGC is a little bit lacking. I haven't tested it myself though, so forgive me if uh, you only have the TOLUS and you are unable to do this task yet, but have no fear. I do know that TOLUS is working on an FMGC update themselves. So. What we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to talk about custom waypoint entry. Now, why would we want to put in a custom waypoint? In real life, not very common. I'm going to be honest with you. We don't do it very much. The only time that we actually do put in this waypoint entry, more often than not, is going to be used for a deceler or I'm sorry, a emergency descent planning, situational awareness type deal. So example, all right, so let me pull up my sky vector here and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So in real life, if we were flying over mountainous terrain, we would often program something called OA1s or off airway ones, or you can name them whatever you want. But what they're for is if you are flying, let's say from A to B, in this example, we're going from Phoenix to Las Vegas. Now, I don't know if this is actual true for this route here or not. I'm just making this up as an example. But let's just say that from this point here to like right about here, if we have an engine failure, we want to return back to Phoenix. So we would get a waypoint in our paperwork saying, hey, you need to program this custom uh, Latin long. And if you reach this point, then you need to return to Phoenix. If you pass said point and you have an engine failure, then you're going to divert and land uh, over here. If you are past both points, then you're going to continue on to Las Vegas. Now, that's a very crude example, and it wouldn't really apply to this route. I'm just showing you what we would do this in real life for. Now, in the sim, it's much more handy. Let's say you have an approach plate that's not in your database, and you want to manually program waypoints. This, this is going to help you. So in real life, more often than not, we use it for descent planning during an emergency. If we reach X point, we need to go back and land at Y airfield. If we cross X point, we need to land at Z airfield. But for X plane purposes, I'm going to show you how to just program whatever you want in case you want to make an approach up or do something like that. So there's probably different ways to get your waypoints and flight plans. I'm just using skyvector.com. It's free. It's really easy to use. I do all my own flight planning. I don't use Simbrief or anything like that, even though Simbrief is pretty sweet from what I hear. Um, I like to do it all myself because I think it uh, keeps the skills sharp. So what I did here is I just have a very simple flight plan from Phoenix Sky Harbor to Las Vegas. I have two waypoints in there, Mesa and Caddy. And they are depicted right here, Mesa and Caddy. Now let's say... For some reason, I want to put in a custom waypoint over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag my pink magenta or my magenta line here. And you can see as long as I keep the mouse depressed, I can move this anywhere I want to. As soon as I let go, it's going to go ahead and snap to that fixed position. It's going to ask me, hey, do you mean to drop this on Hulapai Airfield? Nope. Do you mean to plan Peach Springs VOR, which is right here? Nope, I do not. Do you plan to cross Duggan Intersection, which must be a... GPS waypoint close by. No, I do not. The last option it gives you is a GPS coordinate. That is exactly where I just dropped that magenta line. And I say, yes, I want to do that there. So I'm going to plan that point. I just made it up on the map. What happens is you're going to notice I put in that custom waypoint here. Now when I go to my nav log, I can zoom in here and I can see user fix. And guess what? I have a properly formatted Latin long that I can put into the Airbus MCDU. So now I'm going to show you how to do that here. We're going to pull up our MCDU and I want you guys to go to the data page. Over here in the data index, you can tell we have two pages. I'm going to go ahead and scroll right one page. Once I scroll right, I find myself here at page two of the data index. I want to select waypoints. It asks you what you want to call the waypoint. Now you have to be careful when naming the waypoint because you don't want to incidentally name it something that is already in your database. So if you were to put in a five letter identifier here, chances are you might have a waypoint already there and you won't be able to do this. 
So what we do, what I do personally, I just call them OA ones, off airway one, then I can do OA two, et cetera, et cetera. You can call it whatever you want as long as it's not already in your MCDU. Now that I put that name in there and it's not in the database, we get the new waypoint screen. There's three different ways to input information. Today we're gonna to talk about Latin long. So go ahead and flip back over here to my sky vector. All right, so on my sky vector page here, I pulled up my waypoints for you. You can see we have a six digit number here what we've got to be careful is we've got to make sure we put the proper format in here the last box in each one of these entryways is supposed to be your cardinal direction so we know we're going to put north here and we're going to put west here everything else is going to be numerical so let's start it out with 35 44 35, 44, decimal three. And that's going to be north. Now we can go ahead and put the slash and we're going to put in 113, 22, decimal two, and that's gonna be west. Don't worry about that. Decimal two and then west. Go ahead and place that right here you've now properly entered your latin long notice i have the cardinal direction at the end here and the cardinal direction at the end here i just dropped off that last numerical digit from the sky vector latin long format i don't have to do any conversions or anything like that now that my latin long is in here i'm going to go ahead and press store now that this is green oa1 is now stored in this mcdu database all right so now that we know what it's called we're going to drop it right on top of caddy so it is input right after Mesa, so it'd be Mesa, OA1, and then Caddy. So we know it's called OA1. Go ahead and place that right on top of Caddy. So now, let's go ahead and insert that. We've now successfully made our flight plan go from Mesa to OA1. After OA1, we wanna go right back to Caddy so we can go ahead and clear that disk code that we just created. Go ahead and insert that. Now we have a flight plan here that we can navigate to with a custom waypoint. So, a little bit shorter video. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will catch you on the next one.